for Kelly Jacobs, today's violin lesson has a little added significance. She's not practicing for a recital or school show. The stakes are just a little bit higher. I used to be scared to go to lessons. The E is up bow. Oh, no, when you hear Kelly play, there's something a little bit different. I think it just kind of speaks to people. Kelly may only be 17 years old, but she's been playing the violin for 13 of those years. My sister played piano. She still plays piano. And I was like, I just want to be like her. I went to maybe two lessons. And after, I was just like, this is not for me. But while watching the PBS classic Sesame Street, Kelly saw young kids playing the violin, and she was hooked. And I was like, this is amazing. This is exactly what I want to do. I just had that aha moment, that like little light bulb that just came on. So at the age of four, Kelly got her own violin and soon began taking lessons. Playing it then and being like, this is exactly what I thought it was going to be. She really liked the violin in a way that most kids aren't disciplined enough to. By age eight, Kelly was doing her own recitals, teaming up with teacher Tiffany Preston. Kelly was always mature in her work ethic. Um, so when she came to me, you know, we would try things and she would immediately go home and, and, and work on it. Classical, it just, it just put my mind in a bigger perspective. 2020 was a difficult year for just about everybody, including Kelly. But it ended up bringing unexpected opportunity. I got a phone call last year, and they were trying to find a, a set to, to film for a new series coming into Charlotte. The they were producers from the Oprah Winfrey Network. They were looking for uh, locations. Locations for a new show called Delilah. A drama series about an attorney fighting for the disenfranchised, who's also a single mother raising two kids, her nephew, and also dealing with her ex. So they came in and uh, they were just like, this is exactly what we're looking for. The violin shop, housed in a 100-year-old Victorian home in the Elizabeth neighborhood of Charlotte, made for a perfect shooting location. Shop co-owners Glenn Alexander and David McGuirt were thrilled. They were taking pictures in every room and drawing little sketches. We could tell immediately that it was uh, what they were looking for. The show's producers, though, had just one more request. And he said, well, I've got every part that I need, except I need someone to play Delilah's daughter and I'm looking for an African-American who can play a 16-year-old that also can play violin really, really well. Glenn and David knew just the right person. My mom got a call. Do you think Kelly would have any interest in being in a TV show? We thought, oh, this is a really cool thing for you to, you know, try to do. Or Aside from appearing in a fourth grade musical, Kelly had no acting experience. She went to the audition thinking it was for a secondary role. A couple of days later, we get the script, and I was like, oh, there's a script? <laughs> and he was like, yeah, like you're, you're auditioning for a role. <laughs> the role was for Maya, Delilah's smart, feisty, and talented teenage daughter. Kelly landed the role. I was just so giddy. I was so excited. Try this one. I don't want to break it. Maya. That giddiness quickly turned into nervousness as the reality of what was ahead set in. The show has definitely um, changed how I practice, that's for sure. Some of the pieces in these shows are things that I have not played at all. Doing all of the new stuff, you know, scripts, um, learning her lines, being on set, all of those kinds of things, going to school, and then making sure that you find so enough time to practice the things that you have to. How much is it? 
Shooting for the show's first season lasted from October through January. The similarities between Kelly and her role in the show are everywhere. Me, I play Maya, and just like in real life, I play the violin. Maya is an aspiring musician as well. She wants this as a career. She wants to be a famous soloist. It's her dream. Her love affair with the violin has led to a lot of work. It's also led to the opportunity of a lifetime, something Kelly wouldn't trade in for anything. For Caroline Impact, I'm Jason Terzis reporting. We hope you enjoyed the story. If you don't want to miss any more great stories about the Charlotte region, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.